what's up guys, it's Jenks here and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make 3D text sit on a cinematic and it looks nice and looks realistic and it works really well in montages I think so. Anyway, first thing you want to do, you want to get your cinematic open in Sony Vegas and you just need to find a bit where you where you want to have your your 3D text on and then click save snapshot file in Sony Vegas here and just rename it to anything, save it to your desktop. That's all we're going to need to do in Vegas for now. So now what you want to do is drag this picture that you just took onto the materials in Cinema 4D and click yes. Now that should be a material, you should have that picture as a material. Uh, before you get started I'd recommend changing your output to 1280 by 720 because that's what you're going to want to, want to render in. Which I wish it would automatically do that for me. But hey. And then you want to change what you're going to save it as. So I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to save it to my desktop and just call it anything. Okay, so now we've got that done. You need to go to the lights up here. Hold that down and go to background. Now when you're a background, you want to drag the material onto the background layer. And there we go. You'll see that we have the our picture is now in Cinema 4D. And we can start working with the 3D text. So now to get 3D text, you want to go to MoGraph and Mo Text, And this will pop up. And then you just want to change your name to, we'll call it test, change it to whatever you want, like if you're making a montage, whatever the, your montage is called, this could work really well. And I like to use this font, Bavoos, which might be built into your computer, I'm not sure, it was built into mine because I haven't installed any fonts to this new computer yet. So we get that like that, and now basically you want to try to just line it up as close as possible to wherever you want it, like the floor. So this can be quite difficult. Obviously, you want to choose cinematics that you want to choose pictures that um, are like looking from above, sort of like this, because it, it works a bit better. Uh, but it's still it's still not easy to get everything lined up properly. Um, uh, let's see how this looks. Nah, it just looks like it's just sitting there. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. That's starting to look sort of like it's sitting on the ground, doesn't it? Maybe it needs to go a bit more back. If we put it back like that and maybe take it down a bit, let's see how this looks. It looks alright, but this T here is off the ground. Oh, it's really hot. It's t it's a lot of trial and error to get it looking good. Uh, that looks alright. We'll do it. We'll keep it like that. Okay. So once you've got it lined up how you like it. Uh, you need to go to this cube here and go to plane. Now this is going to be telling telling um, Cinema 4D basically where the floor is on the map. So you just need to get it on your test where you think the floor is going to be. So let's say around about there. What's that look like? Yeah, that's decent. Maybe we'll we'll push it a bit more back like that. Okay. So Cinema 4D now should know the floor is there. So what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to drag your background material onto your plane now and change the projection to frontal and now you'll notice that it'll have a fade in black effect here. Now it's, to get rid of this you need to right click on your plane, go to Cinema 4D Tags, go to Compositing, untick Self Shadowing and tick Compositing Background. Now this should make it disappear even though it is still there on your screen so you can still work with it. Now what you're going to need to do is the lighting. Now this is very important for shadows. So you get your light and you want to try to get it where you think the sun will be in your picture. So let's get it up here all the way on the right, pretty high up. And you want to go to shadow in your light options and change shadow to shadow map soft. And then hopefully, hmm, see that's not worked too good because the shadow has been cut off here. Uh, that's because of the plane. So if we move the plane back, let's see. There we go. That's looking good now. So we got the T shadow there, got the EST. So it's starting to look in, look a bit more realistic, like it's actually there. Obviously, it, it's all down to the sort of cinematics you pick, and obviously how much time you take to get everything lined up. So to make it better, obviously. But this is just I'm doing this really quick. I'm rushing it. Uh, if you've seen the PC thing that I did, like where it says PC is beast, that actually took quite some time to get it looking right. So, so this is just a quick rush. So that looks all right, doesn't it? So we'll render that out. We'll have that. 
So you just hit your little render thing, which is this orange one here, if you didn't know. And then you can just X out of that. Now your next step is you want to go to Adobe After Effects, CS3, and that girl is hot. <laughs> Damn right. Okay, so we want to start a new composition, 59 frames per second, let go on for about 10 seconds. Then you double click here and import your image, like so. And then we can obviously just drag this image onto here, like that. And uh, now you can add some color correction if you like. You don't. You can do this in, in um, Sony Vegas, which is what I did, so it looks nice. But you can also do it in here. Color curves. You know, let's turn that down a bit. Turn a bit up here. You know how people like it. Oh, that looks horrible. It's all saturated. It's, it's too low. There we go. Got that nice one here. Let's go change the blue to. Let's make it like. Oh, it's a bit too bluey. It's a bit greeny. Oh God, yeah, I'm I'm really bad with color curves. There we go. It looks nice and blue. Let's just leave it like that. Obviously, you guys can take more time and use your own color corrections. Um, also, you could use some optical flares, maybe. Uh, obviously, you have to install this yourself and get a serial code. Wink, wink, and shiz, which I cannot tell you how to do. I apologize for that. And obviously, you can like put in the corner like that and. Let's leave it like that. Um, now, this this is the most important thing you need to do in After Effects, right? It's something that works really well and makes makes a picture look like it's animated. So what you need to do, you need to go to click this little down thing, go to Transform on your picture, go Position, and just hit the little stopwatch. Now go to wherever you want your track to end and hit this little dot here to make another keyframe. Then click. Click your position layer, and then you need to go to the Wiggler tool, or Wiggler, I don't know what it's called, but you go to Window, and the Wiggler. Now you make sure you have that ticked, and here's the Wiggler. Change the frequency to 3, I think it's 1, 1 works well, and the magnitude to 3. And then press Apply. Now this will just make subtle little changes on your screen. Now as you can see, if you look in the picture above, if I just go across it now, you can see it's slightly moving, it's wiggling from side to side, giving it a nice little realistic effect. And then you obviously render that out and put it in Sony Vegas with some music. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope it helps you guys out a lot. Please give it a thumbs up if it helped, comment on it, favourite it, send it around to your friends if they're wondering how you do this. This has been Jenks, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.